This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to give an update on the progress I've made with my Moonman M800. Now when I bought this pen it came with a Moonman fine nib. Now I have more than enough pens with fine nibs. The reason I bought this pen is I wanted a nice pen to use with um, my spare Nemesine 0.6 stub nib. So I got the pen and I went ahead and dipped the Moonman fine nib in some ink and tried it. It was pretty dry, but that was okay because I was going to replace it anyway. I took it out and replaced it with the Nemesine nib, and the Nemesine nib was dry also, and it burped ink. Now, that didn't, it being dry didn't really surprise me that much because I knew of my two uh, 0.6 stub nibs. One of them wrote pretty wet and one of them was dry. And I've got the one that writes pretty wet in my name assigned Singularity. And so I took the one that writes kind of dry and I opened the tines a little bit. And I tried it some more and it was writing pretty wet but it still burped ink and whatnot. So I tried it with different, on different papers and with different inks. And what I determined was that the feed, surprising, not, was designed to work with this fine nib. So the feed was not keeping up with my somewhat wet 0.6 stub nib. So I uh, adjusted the nib a little bit more, closed the tines up a little bit, made it a little less wet, and I've been testing it with different inks, and I think I've pretty much um, got this pen figured out. Now, when I tried it with um, Monteverde Moonstone, this is a somewhat wet ink. It's pretty well lubricated. You can see in this writing sample that the ink flow kind of alternates between wet and dry. and You can see wet areas and dry areas. And um, so that was with this wetter ink. With So I thought, well, I'm going to try some inks that I know to be a little bit drier. Uh, Ackermann Israel Zablau you still see some wet areas, but it doesn't seem as severe, at least to me, as the Monteverde Moonstone was. And let's see. I also tried Chiku Ren. And as far as the Roshizuku inks go, Chiku Ren is a little bit dry. It's kind of a shading kind of ink. And so it worked pretty well on this Tomoe River paper. Now... Since it does, it still does alternate between kind of wet and dry, just not as bad as it did before. I tried it on some ARC dot grid paper, and it's kind of a little more absorbent. And it looks really good. But I did notice that during those periods where the ink flow was kind of dry, it's a little uncomfortable you know it feels dry on the paper so and that works out okay because um, the notebook that I'm going to be using this with has good smooth fountain pen friendly papers so that's okay instead of this being a journaling pen um, because when I'm journaling I'm just writing non-stop and I use Apica paper which is a little bit absorbent um, and I have, I've tested this with in my journal. Um, I don't prefer it for journaling because, like I said, during those periods of drier ink flow, it's, it's not that pleasant. But I do like it for, like, my Bible study, note-taking like that, because I'm reading, I'll jot a few lines down, and put the cap back on it, that gives the feed time to catch up. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I've got this pen uh, working the way I need it to work. It's not ideal. 
I like my pens to be a little more foolproof. I don't like to have to stop and think about what ink am I going to use this with? What paper will this work with? But for the job that this that I bought this pen to have, I think it's going to work. I'm going to do a quick little writing sample before I shut this off because I do really enjoy writing with this pen. I've always liked this design. I like the Memento Zero. I'd like to be able to get one someday. They just have such beautiful resins. And I think this amber colored resin that the M800 is available in is just, is also beautiful. And I really like this grip section. It's just surprisingly comfortable for, you know, doing lots of writing. All right. And you can see it starts out pretty wet. And Oh, 0 0.6. And it's already starting to get a little bit drier. Fortunately, this nib is rounded, so it just tends to be pretty smooth. So that's nice when you hit those uh, areas where the ink flow is pretty dry, the the sm having smooth paper and this smooth nib kind of uh, minimizes the unpleasantness of it. And where unlike you saw right there, if you stop and pause for a minute, sometimes fountain pens will tend to kind of get a little dry as you sit and wait, but sitting and pausing and thinking for a minute gives the feed time to kind of catch up with your writing. And so, I, I think this is going to work for my intended purposes. And I'll continue to try different inks with it. And uh, the, the, this Moonstone is a little bit on the wet side. But it's, you know, I, I like this ink. It's, I think it will work. And, but I'll try different inks with it. I might come across something that really blows me away and then that'll be an ink that I stick with for this pen. But all in all, I'm glad or I'm, I'm happy with uh, the state that this pen is in at the moment. All right. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.